Hello and welcome to the channel. Today in this tutorial we'll create this model using the only par design workbench. So this will be another practical exercise and now let's go to the FreeCAD and here create a new document and then switch to par design workbench. And here create a new body and a new sketch. For this sketch here you can select exiplane or yz plane. I select exiplane here and now zoom out. Okay, and now select polling tool and in this sketch here we'll draw a section for this part here. We'll draw this section here. So now just draw this sketch. Okay, now we have the sketch here and next here we'll set the dimension of the sketch. So here we'll start by the vertical dimensions. So select this constraint distance tool here. And as you can see in this view here, we have a height of 108 for this part here. So for this line here, we'll set 108, okay? And for these two lines here, we'll set, as you can see here, we have 160 and 108. So the dimension of these lines here is 10. So select this line here and set 10 millimeters. And for this line here, we'll set 160. Okay, and this line here must be vertical. Okay, and next here, we'll set the horizontal dimensions of this sketch. So now select this horizontal distance tool. And for this line here, we'll set the half of this dimension, 107. So we'll divide it by 2. And now the distance between this point here to this point, as you can see here, we have a diameter of 120 for this cylinder here. So you'll set 60. And for this line here, we have 220 here for the diameter. So here we'll set the half of 220. Okay, and now leave the sketch, press home, and now select Revolution Tool. And now as you can see, we have this part here, so click OK. And the next thing to do here is to create these fillet operations here with a range of 2 millimeters. So what you need to do here is to select this face and this face now. And then this face here and go to the filler tool and change the radius here to 2 millimeters and now click OK. Okay, and next here let's create this cylinder here. Okay, to create this cylinder we'll use uh, additive tool. We'll select additive cylinder. Okay, and the plane for this cylinder here we'll select axi plane. Okay, and now switch to the right view. And now let's change the radius and the height of the cylinder. So as you can see here, we have a diameter of 100 for the cylinder. So for the radius here, we'll set 50. And the height of this cylinder here, will set 100, this dimension. Okay, and now as you can see, we need to we need to move the cylinder 8 millimeters. So what we do here, here we go to attachment offset and we go to the Y duration and here we set 8 millimeters, this distance here. And now just click OK. And the next thing to do here is to create these four cylinders here. So first here we'll create a sketch in these face here, select this face and click in this icon to create a new sketch. And now select this external jump tool and extract this edge here. Okay, and now we'll draw, we'll draw a cycle. So select this cycle tool and draw a cycle in this edge here. And next here select line tool and draw a line in these two points and this line here must be a construction line, so click in this icon. And now as you can see, this line now is a construction line. So next here, we'll set the diameter of the cycles. 
click in this icon and click in this cycle here and set the diameter of this cycle must be 20 okay and next here select this angle constraint and we'll set angle 45 so now select this line here and this line and set 45 degrees okay and now leave the sketch and make a path here set reverse it and the length here set 100 and then click ok okay and next here we'll create these three cylinders the way to do that is to go to model and select pad this lesser portion here and go to the polar protein tool and here change the number of occurrence to four and then click ok so now as you can see we have these four cylinders here and the next thing to do is to make this fillet operation here with a ridge of 2. So what we need to do first here is to select this edge and go to the fillet tool and change the ridges to 2 millimeters. And now click on this select button and change the draw style to wireframe. And then select this edge. Okay, and now come back to flat lines. Okay, and just click OK. And as you can see, we have these fillets now. And next here, what we'll do, we'll create this part here, this hole, and this hole now. Okay, so first here, we'll create a new sketch in YZ plane. In this sketch here, we'll draw these We'll draw this sketch here. Okay, so what you need to do is to switch to section view and now select external drum to tool and extra this edge here. And now select polyline tool and now draw this sketch. Okay, and next here let's set the dimension of this sketch. So first here we can see this angle here, 40 degrees. So first select this angle constraint here and then these two lines. Okay, and constraint for this dimension here. And next here, as you can see, we have 28 here from this edge to this end point. This end point here, 28. So what we'll do here, we'll select this horizontal distance tool and here we'll select this point and now this point here. And here we'll set 28 plus the half of 120. Okay, and now leave the sketch and select pet tool. And the extrusion of this sketch here must be 10 millimeters and symmetric. So what we'll do here, here we'll set 10 and here we'll check these options, symmetric plane and then click OK. Okay, and now let's create this, this hole now. So what you need to do here is to select this face and create a new sketch. Switch to section view and now we'll draw a cycle in this side here. So select cycle tool and draw this cycle. And now we'll set the demo of this cycle to 18. Okay, and next here we'll set the placement of this cycle. So first here we'll draw a line between these two points here. And this line here must be a construction line. So change it to construction line, click on this icon here. And okay, now we'll just select this angle constraint tool. And here we'll set 45 degrees. Okay, and now we'll set the length of this line here. So as you can see here, the length of this line here must be the half of this dimension here. So here we'll select this constant distance tool, and then this line here, and we'll set 107 divided by 2. Okay, and now we have this sketch full constraint. So now lift this sketch and 
create a hole here using this pocket tool and the length of this pocket we have to change to 10 and now click OK. Okay and next here we'll create this hole. So first here we'll create a sketch in this face. Click in this icon to create a new sketch and now select cycle tool and draw cycle in this vertical line. Cause the demo of the cycle to you will set a demo of 12. Select this consume cycle and set 12 for the cycle here. And now select vertical distance tool. And the distance between these two center points here will set you will set this dimension here 72.5. Okay, and now just leave the sketch and press home and now create a hole using this pocket tool here, change the link to 10 and then click OK. Okay, as you can see now we have this hole now and the next thing to do here is to make these all parts and pockets here. So what you need to do is to go to model and then select the control and select pad pocket and then this pocket here and go to the polar pattern tool and as you can see here we need to change the plane the axis so click here and select z axis and change the number of occurrence to 4 and then click ok and as you can see we have these holes and these parts now and next here what we'll do we'll create this hole here so first here we'll create a new sketch. For this sketch here we can select Y Z plane or X Z plane. Switch to section view here and now select polyline tool and draw this sketch. Okay, now let's add the dimension of this sketch here. So first here select this cosine distance tool. And for this line here, we know the dimension of this line here is 108. And now let's add the dimension of this line here. So as you can see here, we have 20. So click in this line and set 20. Okay, and for this line here, as you can see, we have 5 millimeters. So what we need to do here is to select, click in this line here and set 5. Okay, and next you will set the horizontal dimensions of this sketch. So now select this horizontal distance tool and for this line here we'll set you will set the half of this dimension here 110 so the width 110 by 2 okay and now the distance between this point here to this point will set the half of 100 so it's 50 Okay, and now we have one degree of freedom. So for this line here, we'll set 60, this dimension here. Okay, and now just leave this sketch and go and now select groove tool. Okay, as you can see, now we have this hole now. So click OK, next. And now let's create this hole here. So again, we'll draw a, set, a sketch. So now select this icon, click on this icon and for this sketch select YZ plane. Switch to section view and first here we'll draw a contribution line. So now select this line tool here and draw this line. And now change this line here to a construction line, click on this icon here. And now select polyline tool and draw this sketch. Okay, and now let's set the dimension of this sketch. So first here we'll select this horizontal, we'll select this vertical distance tool. And as you can see here we have 60 for this hole here. So for this line here we'll set the half of 60. Okay, and for this line here we'll set the half of 76. Oh, sorry. 
double click in the estimation and be the estimation by two okay and now select this horizontal distance tool and for this line here we'll set the estimation 10 okay and now just select this point and then this point here and set 100 okay and as you can see now we have two degrees of freedom so we can set a length for this line here let's set 150 and now we need to set the vertical dimension the distance between this point here to this point so he will select this vertical distance tool and then these two points here and the distance here must be eight millimeters so set eight here and then leave this sketch okay and now select groove tool and here change the axis to horizontal line one okay and then click ok and as you can see now we have this hole now and the next thing to do here is to create these three dead holes here as you can see so what you do here first here go to model and go to this pad here before this polar pattern here go to this pad click in this arrow and select this sketch here and now select the hole too okay as you can see we have a small hole here so what you need to do now is to change the parameters of this hole here so first here we'll change the profile to is a much regular profile set treated and model treat and now change the size here to m8 okay select m8 here and the depth of this of this hole here as you can see is 20 so change here to 20 and now scroll down and here in the drip point type set flat and then click ok okay as you can see now we have this treated hole here and the next thing here is to create this treated tool in these three phase okay so what you need to do is to scroll down here and select this hole now and select polar pattern tool and here change the number of occurrence to four and then click ok and as you can see now we have these treated holes now so it's all for this model here so thank you for watching this video if you like my work please support me on my qualify page so in this way you will help me to grow this channel and also to bring me contents about recut so thank you for watching this video i hope to see you in the next video thank you